How you doing? www.andrewmarkmusic.com on Flat Earth Faggots. Ha ha. ha, ha, ha. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Ha, 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 ha. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> yes, me bad, me bad. So, uh, okay, so the first thing I gotta say, look at if you're gay and you have the opportunity to live in Western societies in the last 50, 100 years and you have your freedom, the very worst thing you could do, the worst move you made was waging war against traditional people or traditional ways of having a relationship. Not your brightest move. Anyway, that's not what this... Uh, videos about um oh who calls, every oh, who calls everybody a YouTube. faggot oh, on youtube oh i know the amazing that's right. atheist that's right <laughs> <laughs> okay so, okay so he's you know think he's got to think eric jubay is a faggot for sure um anyway uh i first came across dubay back in 2006 i think uh, i was posting on a zad called zads a site called zads you know the you know uh, probably a psyop site to just garner information about who holds what views on uh, on this and that, you know. Um, so anyway, that's where I first came across his Atlantean conspiracy blog, and it, at the time he just looked like a guy who was, um, uh, you know, just searching for the truth. So you know, something maybe similar to what I am or who who I honestly am is is a truth seeker, you know, um, generally spent my whole life, um, trying to find out what the nature of reality is. Oh, fuck. What a dumb, dumb thing to do. Um, okay. So anyway, now whether Eric's just a genuine guy or whether he is a psyop, we're never going to find that out, you know? Um, so, you know, we can hope and it's, I have no comment other than that. So look at, um, there's obviously a level of corruption on this planet that is just stunning, you know, in its, its, uh, its, its scope, its, uh, you know, its parameters. And it, it just begs for this type of thing, you know. Um, when you, when you have a, a, a global political system based on lies, it undermines the whole foundation of civilization, of a civil society. And then, you know, it's ripe for this type of thing. And this, the, the thing about the flat earth movement is that it's, it was so easy to manipulate because it's our lived experience, right? You know, when I, when I walk down the street, do I feel like I'm on a ball spinning around at, uh, uh, to whatever the thing is, uh, 24,000 around the sun and 360,000 miles an hour around the, the galactic center on a 24,000 year cycle with the ages of precession, the you know, the, the, the precession of the equinox and all that type of thing. Hell no. The idea for, for, for the average person on this planet, um, the, the earth may as well be flat. Okay. Um, uh, you know, they, they tell us that, that, that there's a, this amazing force called gravity that, that holds the oceans to the planet, and yet, a, a, you know, a feather goes up into the sky, right? I mean, to the average person, um, this, is, this is their lived experience. So what, what happens then is that we have to take the word of experts, right? And I have no, no problem doing that until a whole foundation of society is based on lies, and then the whole system breaks down and this is what we're seeing today you know so um, the the correction to this is is there has to be the only redress populations has is, are the political structures so the political structures absolutely have to to become honest So when a, po a politician says they're going to do something and, and gets voted in to do that, then they have to do it. This, this is the only solution to this madness, okay? Because this, in, in a civilized society, this is all we have. We only have the political process to, to address concerns. And when that breaks down, then we're going to get this type of madness. Now... How, how did it happen that that the political progress uh, 
our foundation of our civilization got undermined. Well, the oligarchy, you know, and I, I blog on that a lot. It started 100 years ago with the, Rockef uh, the Rockefellers, preceded by the Rothschilds, and now there's 2,000 of them or thereabouts, and they rule the world on a, in a, a plans, transnational plutocracy. And um, this is not good for civilization, okay? It's good for them. It's not good for us. And the problem is, is now we are just entertainment to them, right? This, th what they've done is they, these 2,000 people is, 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 is they've reduced hum humanity to wallets and consumers instead of being enlightened citizens in a democracy. And, and they've, what they're doing is they're just throwing everybody into cities, right? And then just watching. They might just have cameras on us all uh, as, we, as we fight each other for a buck just to survive, Right, and all the wealth of the commons is being drawn up, sucked up like a fucking vacuum into their wallets. You know, while ours is being emptied, and this is what's happening on the planet. Now, whether these are the people that are responsible and are paying Air Dubai to manipulate populations, who knows? But it's consistent. There's nothing irrational or log illogical about that. Um, so there we go. www.andrewmartinmusic.com on flat Earth faggots. Peace out, peace, peace out, peace the fuck out.